Okay, I'm here at the uh, Computer History Museum with Professor Tedlow. How are you doing today? Not too bad. How are you? Doing well. So, uh, as I said, I read in the, the Harvard News recently that you'd set up shop here for a little bit. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why you're out here and what you're working on? Well, I'm here for a month and a half. Uh, I'm a member of the Board of Trustees of the Computer History Museum, and uh, I am making a number of presentations for the museum. Uh, one of them is on the Intel 386, uh, which is the microprocessor, which really was a, uh, an inflection point in the computer industry. Uh, that was the microprocessor which uh, basically uh, took control of the personal computer industry out of the hands of IBM and put it into the hands of what came to be known as Wintel, the Windows Intel uh, uh, duopoly, so to speak. And what is happening then, uh, you'll be here for six weeks, That's right. then you go back, right. um, and will you be teaching a term then in the, in the spring? I won't be teaching uh, a course in the spring. Right. I, I, I taught 180 students in the fall, uh, but I'll be giving plenty of talks and uh, participating in the life of the school, and there's always a great deal going on there. So, um, uh, But meanwhile, I have this window that enables me to come out here, uh, see a lot of my former students in Silicon Valley, uh, and also uh, give talks on various subjects at various companies and, and take the temperature out here, basically. And speaking of taking the temperature, as we were just discussing before, there is an outpost on Sand Hill Road mm -hmm. and what is uh, for Harvard Business School, and what is that focused on? Uh, there's a lot of case writing that goes on out here by HBS professors, and what that office does is it enables us to have uh, uh, office equipment, you name it, computers, uh, fax machines, Xerox machines, what have you, and also the, the person who runs it is very well connected, and, and her predecessor also was, was extremely well connected out here, and so you get in touch with them first if you have a company that you want to write a case about or someone you want to meet, and um, it's, uh, it's of enormous assistance. So, uh, um, as, a, as a former grad, I'm curious, what type of tech-related courses are now being offered that they probably weren't there back when I was there. Well, first, uh, we don't consider you a former grad. If you've graduated, uh, we consider you a graduate and someone who, uh, uh, whose donations we look forward to. Uh, oh, there you go. Having. There so, you go. Uh, um, um, you know, uh, technology is a very important part of the school. Uh, when Kim Clark became dean back in 1975, which was just after you graduated, right. I believe, right. um, uh, he, he said he wanted uh, HBS to become the most technologically forward-looking business school in the country within four years. I think that was his goal. And it really is, uh, it's a high-tech school now. I mean, my, and that has made an enormous difference in my classroom. Uh, the use of YouTube, the use of, of a fully electronic classroom that allows you to bring uh, figures from history. I teach business history uh, and, and, and um, uh, uh, occurrences in the present right into the class to be able to turn them on two minutes, then turn them off. It's simply fantastic. And um, also, you know, when I started uh, three decades ago, uh, when students took exams, they wrote them out by hand. Mm -hmm. You had blue books that were stapled together, and you always would uh, impale yourself on those staples. Um, now everything comes to you digitally, and uh, everything's typed, and um, uh, life is, is much more efficient and productive that way as a result. Cool. And one last thing, what uh, what is happening in technology today that is that is most exciting to you? Well, the biggest thing is green technology. Uh, I think uh, that's what's getting funded. Um, the idea of uh, substitute for our dependence on carbon, uh, certainly our dependence on oil. Um, ideas about wind farms and about new power grids that are that use solar power. Uh, in technology, I think that's uh, probably the most important and uh, most exciting thing going on right at the moment. Excellent. Well, Professor Tedlow, thanks for taking the time, and good luck with the Intel presentation. Well, thank you very much indeed. I appreciate it.